The Olympics aren't just an event, they're a global event, one where all the major nations of the world come together to show off their best and brightest in the hopes of Olympic goals. For some, the need to win is so intense that they start training the moment after the Olympics end so that they can be ready for the next one. But other times, the fear of losing is so much that athletes will resolve to cheating in order to get a win. And when they do, they usually get caught. Allow us to show you some of these times. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 7. Tony Hansen At the 2008 Beijing Olympics, Tony Hansen did incredibly well in the team jumping horse event, eventually getting a bronze medal for his efforts, as well as the efforts of his horse. But that was part of the problem. Because you see, the Norwegian didn't just go and dope himself in order to get an edge over the competitors, he went and doped the horse as well. But not in the way you think. It wasn't via drugs like high, rather it was a, via a pepper extract, capsaicin. How does that work? Simple, you rub it on the legs of the horse, the legs become inflamed and the horse is willed to jump higher so that it doesn't hit things and damage its legs. Think of it like a low-key cattle prod to get the horse to do better. Once it was found out what happened, Tony and his entire team lost their medals. He's tried to appeal the ruling, but failed. Number 6. Tanya Harding Yeah, you probably know this story or at the very least watched the movie about it. Long story short, the day before the US Olympic Skating Championship, someone had tried to break the leg of Nancy Kerrigan, who was considered one of the best at the competition and a shoe-in for the Olympics. The assailant failed and Kerrigan was overall fine. It was later discovered that Tanya Harding's ex-husband and her bodyguard were the ones who hired the assailants to get the job done. But was Tanya involved? It's hard to say, as it wasn't definitively proven, yet a lot of speculation said she was. She did hinder prosecution though and had to take a plea deal to get out of jail. As such, her skating career was over. Though her fame lasted, including the aforementioned movie that won Allison Janney an award for her portrayal of her mother. Number 5. Betty Heidler Betty Heidler was a person who in many ways was saved by becoming an athlete. She was bullied a lot as a kid and it was through sports that she was able to find her self-esteem and confidence. She particularly excelled at track and field events, especially the hammer throw, even being able to throw one of the objects over 260 feet. At the 2012 Olympics, she won bronze for her efforts in the hammer throw, which should have been the highlight of her life. But apparently, she should have gotten a better medal as Russian Tatyana Lensenko, who won gold, was caught for doping. Eventually, she did indeed get silver, but she admits that she wished it was under better circumstances and that she truly got her time to shine on the podium. Number 4. How Russians Score Figure Skating There's a common joke in the Olympics called, The Russian Judge Gives It A 10, which is a reference to how the nation of Russia has a dubious history of being fair in judging competitors from other nations, especially in figure skating at the Olympics. Like in the 2014 Winter Games, when Adelina Sotnivakova won the gold medal for Russia, even though just about everyone who watched felt that the other women did better than her, including the initial thoughts of the judges. So what went wrong? Well, many believe that the system was rigged so that the Russian skater won the gold. Fans, experts, past skaters, and more weighed in on this, and it was indeed a scandal. But one that didn't end with Adelina losing her gold, but it did weigh heavily on all involved and those watching because it made it feel that the Olympics weren't fair if you're going up against the Russians. Number 3. Russian Bands If you've noticed something in this list so far, it's that the Russian athletes of the world don't seem to have any problems with cheating. It may have started out as a national pride thing, but it soon became a doping scandal of massive proportions. From cheating via judges to cheating via doping across multiple events like track and field, weightlifting, and more, Russia was exposed time and time again for their doping crimes. To the extent that in 2018, the Winter Games in South Korea banned Russia from participating outright. Though they did allow some Russian-born athletes to participate, they couldn't do it while wearing their nation's colors, and they had very strict rules to follow. Or else. This may seem harsh at first, but remember, this is the Olympics. It's supposed to be about the highest level of natural competition. And yet Russia time and time again dopes their athletes to do better. So much so that investigations into Russia's doping of athletes is still going on. And had the 2020 Tokyo Games been played this year, they likely would have been banned again. Number 2. Heating Up the Luge 
You might think that there are some events in the Olympics that are cheat proof, but you'd be wrong. Just about every single event has a way of cheating if you're creative enough, including the luge. Ortune Elderlein was famous in East German during the 1960s because she was such a successful luger, which she credited on her mechanical skills. But in the 1968 Olympics, she was caught for cheating. Specifically, she apparently heated up the blades of her luge craft so that she'd go through the ice easier and thus go faster. The twist here is that there is a conspiracy stating that she actually didn't cheat, but instead was framed for the charges because of the Cold War going on and wanting to cast aspirations on East Germany. Number 1. Marion Jones The story of Marion Jones is one that is infinitely compelling, mainly because she appeared to be an apex athlete, dominating in both track and field competitions as well as going to the WNBA to play for the Tulsa Shock. But throughout her career, she was rumored to be doping, and when she missed a test that could have proved that, she was banned from competitions for four years, which got overturned, and then she went on to dominate the 2000 Sydney Olympics by winning five medals. But that's when it all came crashing down, as she was exposed to truly being a doper. But that's not the end. Because aside from lying to federal officers about this, which is a crime, she apparently also had check fraud going against her and thus she was sent to prison for six months. A perfect ending to a story about athleticism, cheating, and fraud. There you go, a look at the Olympic Games and who decided to cheat to try and get an advantage over other nations. Can you believe how many times these people have resorted to such tactics in order to win? Which ones do you think were the most shocking? Which ones do you find funny that they tried to cheat? and still lost. Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.